Hey guys, it's Bill. I did this video once. This is we're gonna do the uh, build of Jawbreaker. And I did this video once and uh, had some issues with it, so I wanted to come back and redo it. Uh, sorry, it's taken so long. Been prepping for a couple of comps. Had the fall brawl last weekend. Got a back hills. Uh, comp this Sunday got super shafty in a couple of weeks and then I'm headed out to Moab after that so wanted to take a couple minutes and uh, and get this video in for you guys so what I started with was an RC four-wheel drive Marlin crawler that I picked up from Horizon Hobbies I took a RC four-wheel drive four-runner body I did bob the rear. Took the top off, of course, and found this, these cool doors, found a one-to-one -one that had these doors on it. So I went ahead and chopped the doors down a little bit. Got a little bit of airflow into the passenger there. John Snow is my driver. He's sitting over there nice and pretty. Got some uh, dark side 3D printing goodies inside. And then outside I have a single uh, roll cage roll bar in the back. I have a pretty cool feature right here. So if you know me, if you've ever talked to me, I hate taking the body off to change a battery. So almost all of my batteries come in and out of the truck with very minimal um, work, quite honestly. So what I did here was I put the seat on hinges and springs. And my battery tucks right in there. There's not one in it, but usually my Slingshot RC Products battery would go right in there. And the seat falls back down. And then I add some uh, fake seat belts in there and uh, a scratch built fishing pole. In the back, what I did was I took the regular TF2 roll bar, turned it around backwards. I got my jack tied up in there i got a shovel uh toe strap and a jerry can in the back but i did that to help balance the truck out a little bit let's turn it around here so you can see the back on the rear of the truck got some custom plates from uh, srd las vegas those guys crushed it with the plates i ordered for it and, and a couple other trucks got an rc four-wheel drive rear bumper little d-ring balancing off there on the bottom and we'll see how it does i may end up cutting that hitch off um but right now as the truck sits it gets about 63 scale points so um i'm pretty happy with that i've got uh the pitbull pbx uh ats on the truck been very impressed with the tire. I don't run a ton of pit bulls, but I have a couple sets and I've been very, very impressed with this tire and its ability to stick and get up over obstacles with um, very little stress. They're mounted on G-Made beadlock wheels and the tire is a 4.05 versus the 419. I'm used to running on my tiny tires uh, trucks. So, uh, does a real good job in the front of the truck and i do already have that wheel popped off so in the front of the truck i have a custom a m front bumper with fair lead and it's also a shackle lowering reversal bumper as well so all that is one piece uh from a m garage great job up there he leaves all his stuff uncovered so over time it's going to give me that natural rusted look All right, we're gonna move inside to some of the electronics. So the removable hood, 
again it gives me a couple extra scale points inside of course we've got the hobby wing axe foc it's the 1200 kv plenty of speed plenty of uh low end torque uh for this truck got the marlin crawler um r3 single speed uh transmission in there of course all i run the spectrum stuff with the spectrum radio i run the dx5 pro my winch everything tucked in here real nice into that hood keeps a lot of weight up front for me um compact a little tough to get in there and i made custom body mounts um so the body mounts here off of this peg which goes right down to the chassis I'm not a big fan of exterior bolts or uh, clips or anything like that showing. And then we're just going to slide that hood right back down and it mounts right back in there. All right, so now we're going to come underneath the truck. Full leaf, front and rear. Um, and it is true leaf. There is no shock in there. There is no anything in there. It is a true full leaf sprung rig. I went ahead and did the AR44 axle conversion. Not that I'm not a fan of the RC four wheel drive axles, just haven't had a great amount of luck with them over time. Um, so I did go ahead and do the conversion. The JEC leaf conversion makes that possible. Um, it mounts up real nice to the AR44 axle front uh tie rod that's in the works rc uh, again a custom job he did for me you can see i've got the reefs triple four servo in there as well as see if the camera will get in there and get that the uh reefs rc servo washers so it gives you a much firmer um, mount much more stable platform for your servo to do what it needs to do off of there and again, there's a look at the R3 transmission as well as the Hobby Wing Axe brushless 1200 uh, KV system. It is waterproof. Um, there's no sensor wire that can get damaged. It's all has a cable system hookup, so it all hooks up and there's no, no, no concern or issue with water getting in there. To move back here's the a and m skid that i talked about earlier i have some uh rock lights in there both passenger and driver's side sorry about that i'm charging batteries behind me so i had to take that off real quick so moving on back ssd drive shaft in the rear boom racing hardened drive shaft in the front and then just the regular uh RC four-wheel drive short shaft between the transfer case and the transmission. Again, full leaf in the rear. I have working lights front and rear. And you can kind of see up in there how those are set up. All right, you get a little better shot of the driver's side there. John Snow focused on not getting burnt up by a dragon as he heads down the road we talk a little bit about the paint job so the paint job it is a hard body the paint job is 14 individual coats of paint so there is the primer and then there's if you will 14 top coats on top of it they're allowed to cure for a day each coat is allowed to cure for a day. So I paint the coat on, cure it for about a day, and then I put the next coat on. Once the final coat is on, it uh, gets about two weeks to fully cure. And then I just go in and everything is hand sanded. So once it's hand sanded and I get to where I want, you can see my tribute to Big Sarge there, a little bit of 
his uh, uh, meme on the front hood there. You can see Sarge poking out at you. It does have a few scratches already. I did have the truck out driving and I don't build shelf queens. Anyway, back to the paint. It's 14 coats. It cures for about two weeks. Uh, then I start and it's just all hand sanded. So all of these individual coats now start to shine through as I sand down. And I wanted, the reason I had the name in mind before I even started the truck or started the paint job, Jawbreaker. So those of you that are old enough, remember when you were young back in the 70s and 80s, you used to be able to go down to the dime store and get a little Jawbreaker for five cents. After you had that Jawbreaker in your mouth for a while, it would start to fade depending on uh, how you had it in your mouth. And it was just, it was a cool concept for me. So I was able to make the truck turn out to look very similar to that. So uh, it, it was just a super cool project for me. Uh, there you can see I've kind of roughed out the bed a little bit. And then my toe strap actually hides. I don't know if the camera will go in there and focus because I'm going to be in my light. But the, the mounting bolts for the rear of the body are right there hidden by the toe strap. So when you look at the truck, you don't see any place where there is a body clip. And to me, that's a super cool feature. Um, but that's the whole truck. The whole build took it. I've had the body for probably a year and a half, just waiting to get around to it. Uh, but super good. Uh, I've driven the truck. I'm going to attach the run videos to this video if it's not too long. Uh, but the truck is very capable, so we'll see uh, what it can do here real soon. I've got a couple other builds coming up. The My challenge truck for 21 is already part and parceled on the bench, as well as the rebuild of Wicked, which I think is going to turn out pretty cool as well. So I'm excited to get those two trucks finished up and uh, debuted out to you guys. So we'll check back in with you later.
doing, buddy? Come on, go and touch it. Hey, sir! <laughs> okay, good. Okay. I tried to steer it. Oh my god, he's getting so... <laughs> now that is ridiculous. Is that how you operate it? Yes ma'am.